to make things happen, but you just have to like put yourself out there and you'll realize how easy it is. If you just sit around and waiting for something to happen, you'll think that oh, nothing never, will never happen because it never does. But you, but if you're not like out there, saying it's like if you if you don't buy a lottery, you won't like you won't ever win. Some of the heritage of, of this bike, like the, the tank and the color, now lives on in one like a modern modern triumph in in, in LA. No, like uh, he's actually like the, the lawyer of, of uh, Mel Gibson, so I guess he's like a pretty busy guy. Um, I learned a lot from uh, from my grandfather. It's amazing how, how precision work you can do with a uh, tool that is this, this big. It's kind of my first bike, but not really. But I, I, I didn't really want to buy a bike just for for getting the license. I want to get like this one, <laughs> a mix of stuff. It's registered as, as a 68, but the frame is 66. So I guess it got to register in Sweden 68. But it's a Triumph Thunderbird. So it's like the model they, they took the, the, the world speed record in Bonneville with. It's like, uh, well, it's, <laughs> it even made, made like a sound. Yeah. At least it can be somewhat nicer. This is like when I picked it up. And I was like, where do I, where do I walk from here? Everything gets so dirty, it's like, when you, when you leave something for like six years, <laughs> or something like that. Now it's like, what, what tank is that? Is that, can, can I get that tank? Is this from like another bike? Uh, and I tried to write them on Instagram, and most of the time I got, just got some some Japanese letters back. Uh, and I, so, but I want to have this because I saw it in all the Japanese bikes. I saw this guy selling uh, parts, like in general, I guess all the motorcycle parts. And in the picture, in the background, like on on his shelf, I saw he got like two of these tanks. Uh, and I'm like, okay, how much do you want? And he's like, yeah, like a thousand Swedish crowns. So that was like, wow, that's nothing, I'll take it. Because I knew at the same time, uh, a old one, rusty, with the ugly paint, would be $500. It's so like, this is why I, I, I like this tank. This is made in England. What do you want to do? Yeah. Let's see if I can get this more leveled. Mechanical engineer. And then straight to Bonneville? Yeah, for the summer. <laughs> Seven years later, <laughs> I, I came back. Okay. But the idea was like two, three months. Like three months, like maximum. Yes, 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 the summer. And then get like a, like a real job. Uh, I, I like a lot of bikes. <laughs> Like I had two sports before, and then the, the shovel head and the FXR. Do you even know how many bikes you have? I made a list. And that's how many? Like, like that I had ever in total? Yeah. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. My other friends went to like McDonald's or to like uh, sports stores, and I wanted to weld, so I figured out that. I need to go to like a sheet metal and welding shop, and I uh, 
never really had like a lot of money when I was when I, I was working, so I had like money from from working, but uh, but in general we didn't really have much money at home. Uh, my my was it? I think it was my first day in Barcelona. I was walking around and realizing I, I need to have like a job. And there was a uh, a store like a like a motorcycle workshop. Um, and I, I saw like a, like in the entrance there was like a seat and it said something in Spanish. I guess I assumed it said something like we reupholster seats. Like uh, I did my own seat for my Honda CB500. Uh, when he saw that he was like, oh, I have like a like a Motogussi and I, I need to do the seat. Can you do it for me? So I did that as well. I just, yeah, I just need like a, like a scissor and a industrial sewing machine. And so I had like these three uh, like pictures of making these three seats and I showed them to the, to the shop when I arrived there. And, like this, and, the, and in the second shop they actually spoke English and I asked like, do you have a job here? And they're like, what? No one ever came here to ask for a job. Uh, and they're like, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like summer and a lot of people need their like, now they like want their bikes to be nice. Some of, I, I was working on one of the seats for one of the custom shops that I already knew about a little bit, uh, and I got more in contact uh, with that shop. I, I think like er, everything is actually like very connected, I and mean, it's not too difficult to to make things happen. But you just have to like put yourself out there, and you will realize how it, easy it is. I, I found Mikkel uh, on Instagram. So I, and that's like when I came to Aarhus first time I met Mikkel. He was like, ah oh, yeah, I have a friend's uh, uh, have a friend's KTM in my garage. Maybe you can go somewhere and uh, and ride uh, like one of these days. And I'm I'm like, is it like an old KTM? He's like, yeah yeah. I'm like. Maybe it's like a KTM GS 500, like the 80s. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, it is. Uh, and I, I mentioned that I knew like one of the guys from uh, Ranch Monkeys, and he had like a KTM like that. And then he opened the garage door and he's, he's like, ah, oh, yeah, that's that's the guy. And that's just like the second or yeah, like the first day I came to. Denmark, I just like happened to know what bike he had in his garage from saying I have a KTM in my garage. I knew that bike. Yeah. Like, like what's the coincidence? And then I saw like the East Speedway bike. And at the moment, like it was like 2020. I was already talking to like this guy from, from Pierce, uh, Anton. And I, I was talking to him about making electrical motorcycles. And I, I said to him, uh, maybe can like start to make a like a, sp like a electrical speedway bike because they're like super bare bones and it's like a really good uh, starting point, like a proof of concept to to get to know how like electrical bikes yeah. will work. So when I saw like Mikkel's electrical motorcycle, I was like, fuck, that's like really that's really that's really good made. And then I started to see like the the, the dust off. And like the, the flat track version, I'm like, <laughs> okay, the, he also made like a, like a flat track version. I'm like, I also want to do that. And then I saw the speedway bike. I'm like, I also want to do that. He's like already doing like what I'm thinking of doing. I already had a folder in my computer called uh, eSpeedway. And that was made before, before they started eSpeedway. <laughs> so that was like, I have the folder already. It's like already prepared. Uh, and I, I just wrote him, I started to write him on Instagram. Yeah, and he was like, oh, like, oh sorry, I'm, I'm very busy right now. Uh, crazy shit's happening. And he's, he's like, oh, oh, it's like, I never heard him not saying that he's not super busy. But, but it's also true. But that's like his, like, kind of like his motto, like, let's do it. And that's why, why things are happening. Uh, one, two. Fourteen. So that's not so that bad.
over 12 years that's only a little bit more than one per year that's uh, okay I got some some more parts to polish I think Japanese people that got like a, a hobby or if they're like into it, they're just way more in general. Like, there it's cool to be a nerd, you know? So if you, if you like like knuckleheads, then you will be like, that's you. They would have like their bike in their name, like in their nickname. So they're like defining themselves a lot by, by their bike or their car. So, so when I see like the craziest builds or like the most old school something, it will, it's most mostly always like a Japanese guy or girl having those vehicles. It's like they do they, they would put their tank like a little bit further back or higher up or have like a little bit more angle to their handlebar. It's always like a little bit a little bit more. I'm not too sure if it's like to, to stick out from the crowd, but shit, what did I do here? Look, it's shit. I just like end up buying like something else. Like I work on something, and then like someone arrives and I buy a bike, and then then I ride that, and then that is like in the focus. I wonder if I should uh, using your skills as a engineer or designer to do this stuff. So, uh, and there, there's just so many bikes you, you want to have. There's like a lot of potential bikes to get. 